Hi everybody, Cat here. Welcome to my channel. It is a rainy Friday morning and I've got a new Who's Your Daddy for ya. Today, the question is, who is Simon Durante Day? Well, he is an Aussie from Queensland who claims to be the secret son of King Charles III and Camilla. In an interview with Seven News Digital, he dropped some bombshells and has confirmed a new court battle he is planning against the monarch and his plan to confirm his claims with DNA from one of the king's children. Now, Simon claims he was conceived when Camilla was 18 and Charles was 17. We do know that they had a relationship early on. Um, now, Simon claims that when he was born, he was adopted by a friend of one of the Queen's staff. Now, Simon states that when Charles and Camilla go to Australia, there, there's an un upcoming trip being planned um, sometime. It's either later this year or early next year. So what Simon plans to do is that he will act when the king is in his jurisdiction. I suppose serve him with court papers and he wants to bring the claims to court. He's been in contact already with Prince Harry and is attempting, he's asked Prince Harry for a DNA sample for verification. Now he said he hasn't had a response from Harry yet, but this he didn't uh, contact him, hasn't been too long. Now, you know, your first reaction might be, oh my gosh, just another nutbag, but there may be something to this. And I mean, now, in the, in the past, there was another that made claims. Very interesting story in 2014, a young aristocrat, James Francis Alexander, published a book, The Real Prince Harry, The Truth Behind the Royal Lie, published in Britain. He is the son of Lord Edward James Alexander, who died a few years ago, but has a huge estate, I think, in Wiltshire. Now, James Francis claimed that he is the real son of Diana and Charles and was replaced at the Queen's insistence when he was eight years old because he threatened to make it known that Charles was not his real father. These are the claims that he put in his book. A book which on the first week sold something like 500,000 copies. It just, it blew up everywhere. And uh, for some reason, Within a week, the publisher pulled the book. It sold like hotcakes, 500,000 in the first week in Britain, and then the book was pulled because they did not want it on the market. Um, now, there, there was an occasion when uh, James Francis and Charles actually had a confrontation, and there's pictures um, at the London Book Fair in 2014, which Charles, I don't know if he was a patron, but anyway, he was going to be there. And so James Francis showed up as well. And there's photographs and the quotes from Charles are like, get away from me, you little bastard. Um, you know? Now, what happens to James Francis in the end at as a result of all of this is quite awful and unexplained to a big, to a large degree. So, you know, I have to kind of worry about the fate of Simon Durante Day because who knows? James Francis did not meet a good end out of all of this. And to get the full story on James Francis, I urge you to go back and watch Who's Your Daddy? It's my very first video. 
go back and watch it and get the full story of James Francis and, and what happened to him and, and the end he met. Now, the story of Simon Durante Day, considering all of this, is certainly one to follow. Especially when, you know, Charles and Camilla, when they, if they do do, when they do do that trip to Australia, this is when Simon plans to act. So it'll blow up all over the news then, I'm pretty sure. So it's certainly something to keep an eye on. Again, go back and watch Who's Your Daddy? Very first video to get the story on James Francis Alexander. It's quite compelling. Have a great day, everybody. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And for heaven's sakes, leave me a comment. I want to know what you think about all of this. Bye for now.